We come to you live from sunny Southern California. I'm at Cohen with Jay Williams here at Staples Center, the house that Jerry built. Jerry Buss or Jerry West? One's a logo, but both Jay are legends. One by Memphis. in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Lakers ball. Davis to Russell. Shot from in close, no good. Jaron Jackson. Oh, had him going there for a second. To Dylan Brooks. LeBron James! Huge block! Just incredible timing on that swap. To James. Right down Broadway, 4-2. It looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game out. I know it looks like he's just playing around out there trying to get the fans going. That is true, but he's also finding his rhythm. Here comes the screen. Deep right corner. Yes, it drops. Little drama on that one. You see the great playmakers see the shot before it ever happens. They recognize how they were being guarded on the previous set, and then they make the necessary adjustments. Davis cashes in. Someone has to get into a zip code. I mean, this is something everybody can relate to in their lives. It's happened to me while doing broadcasts as well. Sometimes you're physically there, but mentally you're nowhere to be found. We obviously saw one of those same things happen on the court. Yes! And a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. Hey, you ever bail out of something at the last second? That's what I saw right there from the defender. We call that no man's land. They weren't really committed to getting out of the way, committing a hard foul, or taking the brunt of the contact. Free throws good. A three-point play. And with that, they go up by three. To James. And he's fouled. Very close, Jay. The results, he's going to the line. Hey, look, sometimes you need to feel out your opponent. Let him know you're there. I'm okay with that early foul. LeBron James. He's got two shots coming. For his career, 73%. First one, count it. And he makes them both. And he's fouled. Nice move that time, and he's going to the line for two. Oh, you've got to know your personnel. That's not someone you want to send to the line for a free two. And he connects on the first free throw. Able to convert on both free throws. Davis to Schroeder. And the Grizzlies have the rebound. Nothing going here on that drive. Stuffs it down with authority. You never want to leave anything to chance when you attack the rim. You finish strong every time you headhunt. Schroeder to James. From long range, LeBron James. Two for two. That's what you want. Think about how smart of a play that is to have the awareness to get behind the three-point line off the step back. They'll take three over two any day of the week. Memphis, they've got it. Has a chance. Not that time. LeBron into the front court. 
Down just a couple. Here comes the screen. It's James. Somehow finds a way to get it to go. Can't fault the D. Bread and butter. And there are a few that can do it better off the screen. Dylan Brooks to Jaron Jackson. Curling inside. A lot of contact on that play. He plays through it and scores. You see, you can't actually get mesmerized by the ball. You actually have to focus on the dribbler's belly button. I know that may sound cheesy, but trust me, he can't go anywhere without his core. Oh! Out there looking like the Kimbe Matumbo. Took it right to him, and the defender was ready. Nice touch around the basket with the tip. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. Oh, he had him there for a second to Adams. To Jaron Jackson. 24 second violation. We have both squads set to make some moves right now. Into the game for the Lakers, number two. Davis to James. LeBron James looking good. Four for five. Man, if we were at Rucker Park right now, everybody would be wilding on the court. Guarantee it. Grizzlies own the basketball. He gets it in the left corner. Josh Jackson to Dylan Brooks. Over to the right side. To Dylan Brooks. Five on the shot clock for Memphis. Fires the three, buries it on the catch and shoot. Every hero needs a good sidekick. Nice find to set up the three. LeBron with it up top. Down by one. Has a look. LeBron James. He's now five for six. Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. Jones with it. Exactly a minute to go here in the opening quarter. Oh, had him going there for a second. Dylan Brooks. Deep left corner. Perfect feed to set up the basket. Uh, I'm not sure that wasn't an offensive foul. But take it when you can get it. Los Angeles, they have it to James. Let's it fly from beyond the arc and knocks it down. And Jay, the system produces once again. Well, that change is inevitable. And one of the things that continues to fascinate me about this game, usually when you see a good three-point shooting team, their shoulders are square to the basket. That's no longer the case in today's game. These guys are off balance, they're moving different ways, yet they still have extreme shot-making ability. The screen sets him up for two. They're going to have to find answers defensively and quickly because he's carving them up in the first quarter. Anthony Davis, three for three. That's a perfect start. Oh, man, you're not supposed to be able to do that with that size, but in today's game, dexterity and mobility are off the charts for bids. Out of bounds the call. Last touch by Jared Dudley. Trying to cash in. Just enough of a head fake to help on that one. The first quarter's complete. Scoreboard says it's all even. A good start to this one. All tied up as we start the second. 
It's James controlling the offense to Mo Bamba. Layup goes down. Well done. It's so difficult to block a guy like that with that kind of athleticism and length. Your timing almost has to be perfect, but pretty much there's no stopping him when he's around the rim. Josh Jackson to Jaron Jackson. Oh, Jay, he commands the paint this time down. So many times you can tell if a player is going to finish before he even gets to the rim. Did you see that look on his face? That was a look of a three-point play. You always going in thinking you can get more at the rim. LeBron James, jumper's good. This offseason, I heard so many voices, even that of the great Shaquille O'Neal, talking about how LBJ needed to submit his own legacy. Well, for LeBron, it's not about chasing external accolades. It's about hunting your own legacy, and that's to be the greatest of all time. LBJ with it. To Schroeder. Miles Plumley sends it away. Ed, that's light work for a guy with his ability. Yes, and the foul, and a chance at three coming up. So many times we get on the defender for quote unquote letting the offensive player score on an and one. Sometimes there's a lucky bounce, but more often than not, it's the offensive player who makes the play happen despite the defender's best intentions. Count it at the line. He was happy. Dylan Brooks. To James. Add two points to the board. Woo, did you see that? Eyes to the rim, and the rest was all net. Memphis with the rock. To Jaron Jackson. Oh, he had him there for a second. Count the basket at the rim. Might have had an extra dribble or two there, but he got the shot he ran. Schroeder with the basketball. They're down three. Steven Adams able to recover with the block. Don't stare him down like that afterwards. Beyond the arc for three. Oh, he couldn't get it to go. Across midcourt, it's Schroeder. He'll run the offense. To Davis. It's a big finish. He was ready right at the tip. What a first half he's having. He came out out of the gate, attacked, found ways to get to the rim. Now look how easy the game is coming to him. To Jaron Jackson. Adams goes to the left side. Baseline drive. How you practice leads to that nice pump fake. It can only be one of two things here. One. The defender ran out of gas, or two, this dude is just unstoppable. Picked up by Memphis. That's called game plan execution to perfection. Every possession on the road is critical. Lakers at the controls right now. Russell to James. Foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. The offense has very little to lose on those type of plays if they know they can, number one, create contact, and number two, still get the ball up. You need to assert yourself fully on the defensive end by initiating the contact and not allowing the offensive player to get that ball above his waist. LeBron James at the line for a chance at a three-point play. Hasn't missed yet. Free throw good as he finishes off the three-point play. They're back within a bucket. To Jaron Jackson, Dylan Brooks. 
Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. The defender was actually in a good position there. They even made a decent play on the ball. But sometimes those bounces go the other way. Still, stay aggressive out there. Free throw good to finish off the three-point play. The lead is up to five. It's James controlling the offense. Has a chance. James shot no good. I just love where this takes you into the psychological battle as a player offensively. Was that a great contest or did you just miss the shot? But now you have me thinking about that the entire next possession. Here comes the screen. The drive right to the basket. The pass taken away by the Lakers. Anthony Davis lets it go. He shoots, oh, off the mark. To Jaron Jackson, Dylan Brooks, down low Adams. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. And I love the smile on the face of the offensive player. Sometimes luck is on your side. I don't know how that shot went in, but and one. Steven Adams trying to cash in on a three-point play. 56% for his career. Off the mark at the line. It's Cook with the basketball. Right now, down seven. Has a look. Wide open look, won't go. You see, Ed, this is where coaches get fired. It's great to have good offensive sets, but if you can't execute, then the play was a failure. Deep two there, won't go. And you have to remember that your hand is part of the ball. There wasn't enough contact on that play for the refs to blow it. Oh, he sent that one to the third row. He was locked in. That was impressive. To Dylan Brooks. A oh, big finish at the rim. That has to feel deflating for the other side. They've really came out and made a statement so far in this first half. Another powerful dunk, but another easy dunk. When are we going to see some defense? Short jumper off the mark. Fires the three. That's how you defend. Shoot or shoot, period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. Here comes the screen to Dylan Brooks. Jaron Jackson. To Adams with a drop step. Scores from the post. Whoa, look what I found. You know it's a bad block when somebody snatches the ball out of the air. Wow. First half comes to an end. The Grizzlies out in front. The Grizzlies will start the second half with a decent lead. They decided to make a statement in the opening half, and they did it by throwing down. And with that, I'm sending it back to Ed. All set to go here in the second half. The third quarter is underway. You're on the island now. Davis to Russell. To James. Yes, D'Angelo Russell. Consistent effort. He's at 50%. No doubt about where that one was headed. To Jaron Jackson. Dylan Brooks. Oh, had him going there for a second. To Adams. Taking advantage of the defender. Nice ball fake. <laughs> the okie doke. Let's see if he'll try that one again. Los Angeles has the basketball. Oh, they call the foul. That's just a blatant foul. Maybe he's trying to make a statement. That's his first personal foul. Team foul number one. Take stock of the floor to James. Down low for Davis. Steven Adams pins it. And that one is out.
Mo Bamba. From the painted area, won't go down. Goes to the right side, to Davis. Anthony Davis, now four for nine. In the paint, you need to finish just like that. To Dylan Brooks. Oh, he had him there for a second. Anthony Davis with the block. Just incredible timing on that swap. Across the timeline comes James. The margin standing now at seven. Nothing going here on that drive. Davis, he'll go to the foul line to shoot. I don't know about that one, Ed. I always thought your hand was part of the ball. LeBron James, a couple of free throws on the way. He's perfect in the line so far. First try at the line, no good. Second one's good. Splits the pair. Grizzlies at the controls right now. 4-3. Great defense, forcing the miss. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head. Anthony Davis. He's 5 for 10, shooting 50%. Strong finish. That's what you need, regardless of contact, focusing on the rim. To Adams. Dylan Brooks. Oh, the touch at the rim. Count it. Clearly not afraid of the spotlight here, because that was not an easy look. Russell to Davis. Finishing inside the paint on that one. Look, there was barely any contact on that last play. I agree with the ref's no call. Let him play. Nothing going here on that drive. Deep right corner. And Davis there to grab the rebound. Send it away! Did you see how far he got up? He kept going up and up and up. I think he's still going up. To Jaron Jackson. Wait, Shot wait. clock winding down. Stuffs it down with authority. It's easy to become mesmerized when you watch a player who can create off the dribble. We call that dancing. When you allow a player to dance with that much space, that's a problem city. Doesn't have the touch. No good. The most important thing a shooter can do is continue. Oh, ferocious slam inside. And no emotion. Just that ice cold stare. That's a sign of somebody who's here to compete. Russell to Davis. And counted at the rim. Now the Grizzlies will use a timeout as their coaching staff wants to talk things over here in this third quarter. Time to adjust. Both coaches making changes on the floor. Entering the game for the Lakers, number 17, Dennis Schroeder. To Adams. Grizzlies with four to shoot. Trying to cash in. And it's Davis for the rebound. End to end on that one. 94 feet for the basket. 
Did you see the way that dribble freed him up? It created so much space. I did, but the defender didn't. Big man, Steven Adams. Very efficient and making an impact. He's three for three. Old school equals high percentage. LeBron James, defended by Steven Adams. Driving right to the basket. Tyler Zeller, ah, tips it. That kid can block out the sun, Ed. And coasting in for two. Ooh, Ed, looking like the young Mano Ginobili with hair out there with the Euro step. That wasn't that long ago, was it? LeBron into the front court. His club staring up at an eight-point deficit. Oh, he was smothered and still gets it to go down. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. it down with authority. I know there's that old saying that says one man can't beat five, but we're watching one man carry four other players. His back has to be hurting. Another big time finish. Anthony Davis picked up by Jones. And that'll get out of bounds. Last touch by the Grizzlies. Both teams tweaking their lineups. Here come some changes. Schroeder. Oh, Dennis Schroeder. It's been a quiet night. Only three attempts, but he makes that one stick. Well, just the ability to step back and be able to knock that shot down, think about what that does to the defender, Ed. It makes the defender come out, which leads to the next setup, which is an easy drive to the rim. Look for that one coming soon. And the result this time, another trifecta. Grizzlies get the first crack at it as we begin the fourth quarter. And that halftime lead, it was cut down in the third. And just because the numbers on the scoreboard say that you're winning doesn't mean that the feeling on the court implies that. This team is gaining momentum. If you don't do something to gain your momentum back, they're going to come back and win this game. Can't connect. Shot was forced. See, the defender did a really good job. He stayed down. He didn't go and bite for all the head fakes. He waited until the last second to contest that shot. Way to know the scout him. Davis, tough shot, well defended. And big time coaching strategy by the staff right there, utilizing their bench, keeping fresh legs on that shooter consistently throughout the course of the game. Yes, and the foul, and a chance at three coming up. People become so fixated on the hands or the arms or the strengths of the arms. I look at the legs, the strength of his legs help him power through that play. That's how you get and ones. Unable to connect on the free throw. Goes to the left side. Not that time. Anthony Davis swats it. Sent a message on that one, Ed. the basket inside bodies bouncing all around on that layup with the offense winning that battle but if the defense keeps up that kind of pressure good things are bound to happen here's Schroeder with it his guys down by nine to James Plumley sends it away. You know, sometimes basketball can become a very beautiful thing to watch. During the regular season, things can get difficult. Energy can be low. The passion at times can even be lower because players are tired. They're fatigued. But today, it's all been good. Right, They're right, putting right. in an absolute show with... Stuffs it down with authority. 
There you go. I like seeing his scoring coming from unlikely sources. Davis to Mo Bamba. Oh, lots of contact there. Still gets it to go. But most importantly, you have to keep the ball moving. Maybe run some floppy sets, some horn sets. Raise those bigs up, which open up the lane, and let them be the passers to make plays easier for the guards. Lakers ball. Schroeder gets it in the left corner. James, and it's good. This game comes down to micro adjustments, either mismatches, ball screens, slipping action on those ball screens, quick fades to threes. It just seems like you're actually finding your rhythm offensive. Both coaches dipping into their reserves. Changes coming onto the floor. Number two. To Jaron Jackson. Just enough of a head fake to help on that one. Yeah, I've been in this situation before. Just raise your hand. We got a switch. Cook to bring it into the front court. Down eight. Mo Bamba. Nice pace. Sets it up and slams it down. There's no better feeling after a game after you had 25 plus assists and you've won the game and everybody recognizes that it's time for their bank accounts to get rewarded. Josh Jackson, defended by Quinn Cook. To Dylan Brooks, over to the right side, Adams. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. Huh, he should get some kind of acting award. That's a great sell by the offensive player. But guess what? The refs bit, and that's the game. New blood coming in for both sides. Dylan Brooks at the line for a chance at a three-point play. A career 74% free throw shooter. Off the mark on his free throw. Davis to Russell. Won't go. He needs some luck on his side given how they're defending. To Jaron Jackson. Kicks it outside. Adams gets it in the right corner. And he finishes at the rim. Great job using that shoulder to create contact with the defender without hesitation. Los Angeles, they have it. Here we go. Davis to Russell. Here comes the screen. Short jumper stays out. That's how you do it. You keep riding him to the basket, and if the refs aren't calling it, stuffs it down with authority. I mean, and I get more and more impressed with guys' ability to shift their body. And that's a Euro step, a side step. However they find a way to get through traffic and finish like that, whew. Here comes the screen. To Davis. Russell. Has a chance. Off the mark. Surprised he took that one. To Jaron Jackson. It's good. If you don't stand in his way, he's going to make you pay. Man, he's got the defender out there tap dancing like that on national TV. That's not a good sign. To Davis. Able to convert inside. And if you don't contest, he's knocking that down with ease. Anthony Davis with a piece. That's his third block this evening. Ed, that's light work for a guy with his ability. Has a look. Uh, not today. Now the Lakers going to use a timeout. They're down big in this fourth quarter. And a chance here to empty their bench. 
The opposing coach is going to counter, make some changes of his own. James. To Russell. To James. Going to launch beyond the arc. Oh, he hits the three. Not everybody possesses this power, but wow, what port awareness. Count it. In the paint, you need to finish just like that. Lakers at the controls right now. Knock loose. Try to cash in. And the rebound taken in by Davis. Deep three at the buzzer. Grizzlies get the victory as they win this one handily. That does it. For my partner, Jay Williams, and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. As we say, so long, everyone. The Grizzlies edged out a close victory in today's game. I could get into detail about their play calling and shot selection, 